Hey heroes, Isaac Zephyr here, and welcome back to Gru staring at us with those weird eyes. If I've got this straight, Zelda is down here somewhere, and she's... okay? Yep, you got it. She's... she's okay. Oh, wow. That's so great. <laughs> Hearing that is such a huge weight off my mind. Well... It's nice to see you care. You apparently aren't as bad a guy as I thought. You know, Isaac, it's all sort of all right down here. Yeah? It's, this place needs a name. Yeah, a name fitting for this rugged, adventurous wilderness. From now on, we'll call it... Grooseland. No. 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 So, let me see if I've got this right. The old lady living in the temple down the road from here knows where Zelda is? I see. Right, Isaac. Thanks for getting me here. You've done a good job. You can head home. Big Groose will handle the search for Zelda from here. And you had to go back to being an ass. <laughs> yep, I'll track her down, save her, and then give her a lift back to Skyloft. <laughs> Then when we get back, I'll ask her if she wants to make our whole going out thing official. Then the two of us will get some quality time together. <laughs> anyway, the point is your work here is done. I got it covered from here. Now, it's off to find that old lady you were talking about. Catch you later, Isaac. Man, he had so much potential. Whoop. Well, One of the feathers. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. Let's get uh, old lady dealt with. Da, da, da. Let's see how this is panning out, shall we? Alright. Huh! You gotta be kidding me, Granny! Don't call me Granny. You're messing with me! Say it again, I dare you! I only speak the truth. You're not the one who will save her. The spirit maiden, your Zelda, can only be saved by another. It has been his fate to do this thing, and in doing so, save us, as it was decided long before you were brought crying into this world. <laughs> Shut it, Granny! You obviously don't know me well, because if you did, you'd know that if anyone's going to sell it in Zelda, it's Groose. How could it not be me? Plus, if it ain't me, why would I even be here? <laughs> If I'm not up to the job of being the hero, just who is? Huh? Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, Bruce. How you doing? Oh, now I get you. Isaac, Granny here has been trying to tell me you're gonna be the big hero who say it rescues Zelda. Um, yeah. <laughs> what a joke. Look, all I've heard so far is a bunch of babbling about destiny, and that's a load of garbage. I know you, and you're no hero, shrimp. And I'll kill some pretty big things. <laughs> ah! Am I a true hero yet, or do I have to save somebody? Greetings, I greetings, Isaac. Were you able to catch up with Zelda? I see, so the Guardian was there as well, was she? The one you saw by Zelda's side was known as Impa. She is a being sent forth by the goddess to aid Zelda in her quest. I apologize if I'm using a different voice than I did before. It's just how it is. I couldn't remember. It's been like ten and more than ten episodes. Way too many. The two have traveled somewhere in order to accomplish the great task destiny set before them. However, now that Ippo has destroyed the gate that they used, there's only one way left to find them. You must make use of the harp given to you by Zelda. Oh yeah, I have the harp. Tell me, Isaac, have you attempted to play the harp that you received? No, I haven't. My sense is that you have not yet familiarized yourself with it. Very well, I shall teach you how to play it. Listen well and do as I say. First, press up to ready your harp, and press A to prepare to strum it. Cool.
Good, you learned fast. Now for your next lesson. Focus and play in time with the pulsing of the circle of light. When your timing is right, I shall join my voice to your heart. Listen well, for the song I sing will be of great help in your journey. Alright. Not as easy as it seems. ancient times. Skip the middle sentence. Hello? This is a large rock. The harp you hold is known as the goddess's harp. It is a divine instrument of the goddess who once watched over this land. The melodies it brings to life have the power to produce a variety of strange and otherworldly effects. The great slab standing before you is known as the Gate of Time, or A Gate of Time. It is the last of its kind in existence, the only portal binding our world to the one where Zelda now resides. If you manage to open the gate and pass through, you will likely end up in the same place as Zelda, but you will need to endure many hardships and put yourself in great danger to awaken the gate from its dormant state. Though your journey will put you in harm's way, Isaac, you must endure. It is your fate as the chosen hero of the goddess. Oh, fuck. I was gonna cut you off. Apparently, something else needs. This shaking. I fear the seal has been broken. I expect that it would react to you summoning the gate, but I never imagined the seal would break so quickly. Isaac, there will be time to explain later. Right now, you must turn to the bottom of the pit outside. All right, you got it, Grandma. All right. Uh, weapons, weapons, weapons. Um, beetle. We're gonna jump as many flights as possible. We smacked this thing earlier, we can smack it again. Whoa, whoa, what's with all the shaking? The whole ground is heaving. I thought it was supposed to be solid down here. Go quickly, Isaac. Check on the ceiling spike at the center of the pit. There is nothing natural about these tremors. That monster could free itself at any moment. Approach the pit with caution. I'll caution you. Throw caution to the winds. Not a good color. Oh crap. Oh crap, it's Dream Pineapple. And he's redder than I remember. And angrier than I remember. The Imprisoned. I knew it! The seal has given way! I'll explain later, but now is the time for action. We must keep that beast from escaping that pit. It must not reach the temple. Oh, ah. I 
remember fighting this guy in Hyrule Warriors most recently. Whoa! How high did you get already? Oh, maybe we're still on the bottom floor. Alright, bring it on. Swing down to up. Cease. Oh, fuck. Well, that worked better as well as one could be expected. Ugh, fuck. Ugh. And his gross toes are back. Crud. Gotta get up behind him. Really awkward way to fall. Yeah, down we go. Whew, got him again. We can do this. We can stop him. Yeah, let's cut up a few, few floors. Stop this guy! Frick! I can't shield. Okay, hobble. <sighs> Hopefully he plays by the rule of threes. Die! Scales were scattered to the wind. Mm. Now, Isaac, 
Strike the ceiling spike with a skyward strike and restore the seal quickly. No time for hearts. Heart. Okay, maybe there's time to at least you sell off. <sighs> there we go. Guys. <sighs> My seal. I don't want to fight that thing again. Oh. Nice going, Isaac. Who said that? Though the imprisoned has only just begun to awaken and break its bonds, I'm impressed you were able to restore the seal, keeping it captive. Unfortunately, you've only succeeded in buying us a little more time in which to act. Well, it was tough. The behemoth you beat back into confinement is a horror of unspeakable power. Judging by what I saw, I would not be surprised if the seal gave way again soon. Oh, I worked so hard on that. You are left with precious little time to complete the task with which you have been entrusted. Return to the sealed temple, Isaac. There is much to discuss. Man, she's old. How'd she get all the way down here? Oh, Goose is bummed. Probably because he watched me kill such a giant monster. As you can see, the gate is nothing more than a slab of cold stone for now. It is sleeping. Rousing it from its slumber would require great power. Yes, I believe a shot of holy light from your skyward strike might just do it. Well, no, that's not too hard. Ah, sorry to disappoint you, boy, but for now your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gate. First, you and your sword must grow together. Faron Woods, Elden Volcano, and Lanayru Desert. A sacred flame is hidden somewhere in each of these lands. Seek them out and purify your sword in their heat. Only after your blade has been tempered by these three fires will it be fully imbued with the great power for which you search. Clues to finding the sacred flames have been woven into the lyrics of a song precious to your people, the Ballad of the Goddess. These clues are your best hope of finding your way to the flames. Return to Skyloft. Somewhere on your island is one whose knowledge of this old song will point you in the right direction. Gapora. I'm gonna assume Gapora. Oh, hey, Groose. <laughs> oh, thanks. I like your approving stare. I hate even saying this, but I guess you've got it all figured out, Granny. Me? Well, there's nothing I can do to help Zelda. I'm useless. Ah, you sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see in time that you have your own role to play in all this. Isaac, go now. Trust in fate to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it, as does Zelda's fate. Sounds good. I still got chores at the Lumpy Pumpkin. Yes, I'm low on health. I know. Stop reminding me. There. The problem is dealt with. Oh, what are you bothering me for now? The Ballad of the Goddess. Based on my projections, this is likely the song Zelda sang on the Day of the Wing Ceremony. No, the flashback didn't give that away. I calculate an 85% probability that someone associated with the Academy will be able to provide additional information about the song. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh. Should not have put that much effort into that.
Uh, we're gonna find out more about the Battle of Goddess. We probably got chores of the Lumpy Pumpkin. Great Goron! I have found some! Look! Those butterflies that respond to beautiful tones are swarming all over this place. This has to be the right spot. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a two. I could not create beautiful tones if wild animals threaten to roll me down a hill. Well, what can we do? I don't know. I could... Boing. <laughs> this, this is it. That is it. One of the talking statues the ancient text spoke of. There is just no mistake in it. Oh, cool. It is just like the old text say, buddy. It appeared with a boing and spoke in some strange tongue. This is a major leap forward in my study of the talking statues. Next up are those goddess walls. I've got an inkling I will not have a very far for those either, and I mean to find one no matter what. Butterflies tend to gather around gossip zones like myself. If you find a spot swarming with butterflies, play the tune of great beauty, and a gossip zone might just pop around the ground with a boing. Excellent. I can remember a couple of places where those were. Meanwhile, though, feathers! Damn it. Hey, well. Save. To the sky. Epic yawn. <sighs> Hopefully all the gossip stones give me things I need. Yeah. So first things first, let's hit up the lumpy pumpkin. I've got chores that I probably need to do. And they're a perfectly fine way to end the episode. Hopefully it's not carrying pumpkins here. Because if I have to do that again, I am going to scream. And if I touch to the mic, so I'm allowed to. Without, like, destroying everyone's ears. Dang it. where we are. Am I looking at it? I'm going the complete wrong direction. Alright. Let's get this thing going. Alright. My arms are tired. Off when his wings would be tired, but I haven't been up here that much. Yeah. And flap and down. And swoop. Woo! There we go. That'll get us there. chores to do? Yep. Figured. Probably another delivery. Oh, it's you. What should I have you work on next? Hmm. Oh, yeah. You've got that interesting looking instrument. Oh, I got it. I got the perfect job for you. But that job can only be done at night. Wait until nightfall and come back and see me, alright? Alright. You only just found out about my instrument. Let me see, what was it that I wanted you to do next? Ah, hey, what's that? That's a strange looking instrument you have there. 
Ah, yes, you might just be surprised to hear that Kina is actually quite the singer. It wasn't that long ago that she would sing for our customers, but she had to stop because her partner quit. Think you'd be willing to do a quick duet with Kina? Yeah, of course. That's easy. Great, that's what I want to hear. But make sure you put your heart into it. I won't stand for anything but your best. Customers will start waving their arms as Candy sings her songs. You can just follow them if you need a guide to the rhythm you should be playing. Pick a customer whose movements are easy for you to follow and strum with them to stay on the right tempo. Don't worry about the direction of your strumming. Just make sure you're not playing too fast or too slow and use nice, big, sweeping motions to strum. When the customers stop moving, that's your chance to freestyle a bit and play however you like. It's all about playing to the rhythm, got it? Yeah, I got it. All right then, hey, Kena! Yes, Father? What is it? This kid's gonna accompany you while you sing. Now we're letting your pops hear that beautiful voice of yours, eh? Of course. Let's do it, kid. I have a name. Alright. Freestyle it, yeah. I'm following the old guy. I only just learned to play this today. Cut me some slack. Well, I suck. Huh. I thought it would sound a lot better when you played, just because you such a nice pretty little instrument you have there. The customers didn't seem impressed either. Ah, crap. What in the blue sky was that? Is that your sad little idea of what music is? What? Don't look at me like you, you even there. Uh, uh, you're crazy. I'm not paying you for that. You're gonna have to try again later. Is is now later? I'm in. <laughs> uh. All right. Let's try to not jank out the controls this time. I'm gonna sit a little closer. A little more centered. Sway my whole body for this. this in another episode.
All right, come on. One more time. One more time. We got this. All right, come on. Like... Next episode, I'm done. Ugh, until next time, Isaac Zephyr, signing out. See you later. I don't want to do this next episode.